go for the wild. How's it going? So, you can kind of see. I'll show you all of them. I've got lots of leafy greens here, and I'm going to be cutting some of them up and um, kind of organizing them and making nice little fridge moments because it's starting to get really cold out and uh, I don't think they're really going to last too much longer outside so we're going to we're going to we're going to store some of these in the fridge for now. I'm really excited about that. Actually, welcome on in to chat guys. How are you? Hope you are doing Super well. Hi guys. Oh yes, so this is the first time you're kind of seeing me with newer hair. Hi. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Okay, it's a good time I think, or at least I think. What's up guys? How are you? What is up? Hi everyone, how are you doing? Nala, be good, okay? Hi guys, okay, so I am organizing and cleaning different types of greens. So right now I have a big tray of mustard greens that I've had in my sunroom growing in my click and grow. So now I'm cleaning up the plants. Hi guys. And I'm cutting up lots of greens to store in my fridge. So that's what we're doing today. I've got some kales, I've got some mustard greens, I have some regular like romaine, lettuce, like baby ones, all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing. Living our best lives over here. Yes, getting ready for the winter, 100%. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop some of these down and actually um, give them to my parents. And I'm gonna actually plant some of these guys into my parents' garden. Um, my, like my parents have an indoor garden and I'm gonna see if, my hair looks really nice. Thanks, guys. I'm going to see if some of them will grow even bigger. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, right? So, yeah. I'm going to thin out these plants as well. Don't need them all. And we'll go from there. See what happens, right? Pretty cool stuff if I do say so myself. What's up? Hi guys. These are just from my click and grow. And how long they'll last? Um, well, we'll see. These should keep for like a week or so in my fridge. If not a little longer. Depending on the type of plant. Right, type of like lettuce almost. But yeah, we'll see. I love mustard greens. They're easily... One of my faves, one of my favorite greens. So I'm very happy to have more right now. <laughs> All good. Don't worry, typos are allowed here. Nala, you're okay. Anyways, what's poppin'? What's up? How are you guys? Tell me, what's new? Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I got a strike the other day on my main channel. So they took down another one of my videos, YouTube did, and I can't post for a week over there. So, oh well, <laughs> such brats they are. Here, this one is the weak plant on this one. Name of this plant, this is a red mustard green. One of my favorite all time veggies. I absolutely love 
mustard greens. So much. So, 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 so much. So much. Whoops. Mmm. Okay, so I'm trying to thin these out. Let's, let's, like I said, I'm going to try to have some of the stronger plants. I'm going to see if they can still grow. And I'm, and I'm eating some of the weaker plants is basically what I'm going to do with this. So, and then we'll see the kind of like, if they make it. I love arugula. Arugula and mustard, two of my favorite. So there we go. Gotta like check out me little baby greens in here. Ooh. I'm also gonna start some hot water. I think I need some more tea in this house. You know? Okay. These guys also need some water. You recently started getting back into veggies and salad? Yo, listen, veggies and salads are amazing. 100% get into them. Okay, I'm just gonna give this guy a little bit of water. Actually, do this. These guys need a bit of water. They have not been getting any. As of recently, I needed to fill up their hydroponic system. So, doing some top watering to just get that soil soaked a little bit. And there we go. Clean up the tops and then get them back. And they go in trays. All right, what do we wanna do next? This one is crazy. Let's do this one. This one I already like kind of chopped up. So I don't know if I'll be saving. Why am I skipping over your comments? Um, Kevin, this is the first time I've seen your comment. So sorry about that. I don't like sit here and read every single comment. So I don't see every single comment. As you can tell, I am doing something. So I'm not ignoring anyone. I just don't see everything. So unless you want to do a super chat, which will make it so I 100% hello, what's popping? So I 100%, she just stretches on me. Yes, are you good? You living? Listen, I'm trying to work here, ma'am. So unless you super chat, um, there's no guarantee that I will always see your comment, so. Just putting out there, you have options. Oh, she just dropped a pumpkin. Kiara, Kiara, this is a pumpkin. Oh my goodness, you're lucky that didn't explode. Kiara, holy moly. She just smashed a pumpkin off the table. See, you're not the only one that, that gets frustrated because you think I'm ignoring you. Wall. When should I plant cucumbers and pumpkins? Um, in late spring, when there is no more danger of frost. That is the best time. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, unless you want a super chat, I might not read your comments. So that's just kind of how it goes, you know? That's just how it goes. They are being little monsters. Okay, I think they have a bone, so I think we're safe for another few minutes. Oh my goodness. Ah, the doggos are such brats. Such, such, such brats. So this one, I believe, I don't know what type of green this is. Um, I've already chopped into it several times. I've eaten several greens from it. Hi, Garden State. What kind of fertilizer do I use? I, oh gosh. Um, uh, what's it called, what's it called? Um, 
I have a video. Oh, Rev. Rev Organics. You live in the mountains. Ooh, what? Or Organic Rev. I believe I wrote a little blog post about it on my website, wolfofthewild.com. So you can check it out there. This is like um, within the family of Sorel, I believe. Do I speak French? Not fluently, no. Sadly, not fluently. Let me see what this one tastes like. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Yo, people just like sleep on greens. Greens are so good. Different types of greens in your salad? Holy crap. This one is amazing. I will um, list, once I'm done this live, guys, I'll go back through the comments and I'm gonna, I'll list every single green that's in here that I've, that I've taken out because I can't access it on my phone right now since I'm streaming, but I have a list of everything that I planted. So once we're done this live, um, I'll go update it like right away, you know? That is what I'll do because this one in particular, oh my god, so, so good. So delicious. Freaking so good. Look at the root systems on these. I'm just going to compost all of these guys, put, put in new plants, which will be super fun. Super duper fun. Hello. What's poppin'? How are you? Probably today is my best bet since I'm already here and I'm already cleaning. I might as well, right? I might as well. I might as well start new plants today. That actually might be a very good idea for me. Exactly, in the summer. I don't have fruit trees, no. I only have two um, cherry trees, unfortunately. Good morning. You eat crayons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That doesn't sound so fun. Nala, I think Nala needs to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna start steeping my tea and then I'll take you guys out to the sunroom really quickly. It's a mess in there. Um, but I'll show you the click and grow. I need to figure out a space to bring it inside. So Oh wait, is she, was that her? If she's playing with a bone again, we're okay. Was that you, Nana? Were you playing with a bone? Or was that Kiara playing with a bone? Who was playing with a bone? Were you playing with a bone? Yeah? Or was Kiara playing with a bone? They're both such breaths. I'm gonna do this little romaine now. I have a bunch of little romaines here. Again, I have to like, I'm gonna cut one out of each. Cause that's the thing. If you if you have two or two, oh, Kiara. 
they don't grow as well, right? So we're going to take one romaine out of each thing, or two. Eat that. And then see how the rest do, right? If they grow up big and strong. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Is that a member? Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for being a member. I truly appreciate it. You're the best. Okay. What time is it in the USA? I don't know because I'm not in the USA. Crazy, right? Crazy. Okay, Nala Bear, I'm coming. We can go outside for a minute. We can go outside. Give me a minute, my goodness. It's game time? Okay, it's, guys, it's game time. Some yummy romaine. Hey, Nerdy Nightly, what's poppin'? Okay, there we go. Beep, beep, beep. I'm gonna take out Nala, she's pacing. I'll take you guys to the sunroom with me. You guys can come to the sunroom. Okay, doke. I'm really excited to get these things looking sexy and clean. I'm not American, no. Please take it off. Please put it on. We're going to go to the sunroom. And I'm going to put on a sweater because it's cold outside. And we're just going to let the dogs out really quickly. Well, hello there. Hi. <laughs> okay. This is like my favorite sweater. It was like... 60% off at Roots. Ooh, so comfy. Come on, puppies. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Ooh, I also just put in these beautiful IKEA shelving units. I, I'm coming, ma'am. Listen here. Okay, this one too. Need more storage, obviously. Look at all the leaves up here. It's crazy. So this is what I'm emptying out right now, my big click and grow. So see this, and I want to put more in it. So, but I need to find space for him inside the house, which is the biggest problem. Kiara, I'm in Canada. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, puppies, you can go outside mm -hmm. for a few minutes. Oh, good girl, Kiara. So Kiara just peed. But yeah. Yep, everything's gray right now. Um, it's the wind. It's it's fall. So everything's gray and sadness. But I'm going to be. He, you good? I'm going to be bringing certain things in. I have Christmas tree decor that I'll be setting up. Like this corner gonna have like two Christmas trees here it'll look really cute like this box right here is another tree um garlic needs to come in I'm gonna make this like super Christmas this year and really like put things there you know what I mean um but yeah it's looking whatever um oh also like right here I'm gonna put Christmas stuff um lots I have, so much. I have massive bins Kiara Kiara, she's a monster. What do you want? 
You have your raccoon. Did you bring this outside? <gasps> Excuse me, ma'am. <coughs> your poor little raccoon. <laughs> oh, baby. She loves squeaky toys. Good girl, Nala. I see that pee. I see that pee, Nala. Thank you. Okay, we're good to go. Is that room heated? No, this is a three season sunroom. It is not heated. Gets quite chilly in here in the winter time. Um, there's no heat here at all. There is electricity, which is great. And what I do is I have a little heater in here if I wanna take the chill off, if I'm working in here close to this time of year, but only when I know I'm gonna be kind of outside. Let me get these pups inside. But yeah, look, there's still flowers. Like, check it out. I gotta cut all this mint. But like, look at the mess that, that like the trees make. And let me tell you, I've been cleaning for like four weeks. See this dumbass thing right here? <laughs> and this one too. So many leaves. Um, Kiara, Nala, come on. Come on, Nala, come get a treat. Come on, baby. It looks terrifying right now, but this is what it looks like in the fall. It looks like sadness reincarnated, you know? Come on, Nala. Come on. Good girl, Key. Nala there. Nala. Come here, Nala. Oh, yes. Thank you. So what I'll do is I'll close, you know, I'll close these fully. I'll close this. And if I am needing to work in here when it's cold out, I open this door and I just put on this heater and I just dress, I just dress warm. Takes a chill off. I just packaged all of my summer bulbs, so they're looking a lot better. At least they're inside and they're warm right now. Um, but yeah, it's basically time to, we're closing down the garden. Let me give these puppies a treat. Good girls. Thank you so much for both peeing. Oh, here you go. Woo. Good girls, good girls. But yeah, it's just, you know, everything looks a little, everything looks <laughs> super sad uh, now at this time of the year, which is fine. It's not supposed to look amazing. Like it's just, you gotta put all the Christmas decor up, right? Yesterday I was outside from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. cleaning, like, all day. All day long. Like, it's just, it's just so much work in the fall with those gigantic trees. I love them. Like, they're beautiful. Yeah, long johns, exactly. I have, like, really nice like faux fur um long johns that i wear outside and then i put like sweats on top of that so lots of lots and lots of like they're playing that's cute lots of warmth needed but it's okay All right. More yummy things. Honestly though, I am going to bring my click and grows in inside because it's so nice. Ooh, did I get another calendar order? I just saw a PayPal notification comes up. Also, in case you guys wanted to uh, grab it, um, my 2023 calendar is for sale over on hollywolf.ca. Um, I literally had like five orders today. Fantastic. Love it when I actually post about it <laughs> on social media. I did a little push this morning. 
Um, just pre-ordered a calendar. Ah, was that you, Dark One? LOL, thank you so much. I posted about it this morning across like most of my socials. Lol, so thank you. Woohoo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's exciting. Mm, these guys are kind of sad looking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a day on those ones. I'm trying to save some because I'm what I'm doing this year is experimenting with my parents' inside gardens to see what really works. But yeah, anyways, my calendars are up on hollywolf.ca. It's really awesome. They look gorgeous. I just added several previews of some of the months, so you can really check it out and get a good inside look at what some of the pages are going to be like. Little monsters. Can you dress Christmas where I look? Well, it's not quite done yet. And I need to get all my Christmas things set up first. What's the point in dressing Christmas if I don't have Christmas decor up yet? Lame. Lame! Gotta do that first. What <laughs> monsters, huh? Oh, they're playing with their bones. Good girl, Nala Bear. Are you having fun over there? You're still growing strawberries? Oh my goodness, that's insane. I'm definitely not growing strawberries. There's some really big, nice Swiss chards outside. Um, so that's cool. I gotta take those out of planters. Um, yeah, lots of, I, I honestly, just before I started streaming, I Googled like ornamental kale. Like if you can eat ornamental kale, obviously you can eat ornamental kale, right? But I just wanted to double check because I have some gorgeous, I have a lot of kale aside. And listen, the less amount of veggies I have to buy in the winter, the best, right? So I just did a little bit of research and I found out you can, of course, eat ornamental kale, but it is typically grown for its color and not its taste. So um, it doesn't have the same, I guess, like taste palettes, it's maybe a little bit more bitter than your average kale. Which for me, like, I don't give a crap. Like, I I will eat the crap out of it. <laughs> so, I'm excited. I'm going to try it. I'm going to start harvesting my ornamental kale. Because there's so, like, it's so beautiful. And there's so, <laughs> these are playing with bones. And there's so much kale outside right now that I'm like, I should, if I take this out for like Christmas decor, I should be eating it, no? So, and apparently I should be. So I'm excited for that. for garnishes on foods instead because of its gorgeous color palette. But I'm 100% just going to eat it, you know? Maybe maybe if I need to make like a slightly sweeter dressing, cool. But like, I think that's fantastic, right? I don't know. I'm like super excited. I think it's pretty cool. What are you guys even saying? Do they still grow back this late in the year? Of course. That's the thing. So ornamental kale, the thing about ornamental kale is it, um, the color, right? Ornamental kale is grown for its color. And ornamental kale typically gets 
more pretty, like beautiful, as soon as it hits below freezing, right? A lot of ornamental kales are pinks and whites and purples. Actually, I have a video talking about my ornamental kale really soon. So you know what, maybe I'll post that one first so you can see we like just filmed it and Brandon just edited it. So maybe I'll post that one first. But yeah, of course it's grown right now. It's meant for a late, a super late fall moment, which is really, really awesome. So I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I do. I have grow lights just for the click and grow. Like the click and grow system itself is a grow light. You know what I mean? Since I'm streaming on Twitch like three or four days a week now, what I'm going to be doing is every Sunday, I'm going to be doing a lot of food prep. And I'm going to be ordering some like really pretty new containers. And I'm going to be making like salads um, for like food prep and stuff like that. And just like really prep all my food for the week, like cut up all my vegetables, like that kind of fun stuff, you know? My TikTok is definitely full of like sexy food prep <laughs> videos. I freaking love it. So definitely going to be doing more of that. What is Twitch? It's a streaming platform. Mostly gaming, but there's IRL, there's hot tubs and pool streams, um, there's creative, there's a bunch of stuff that people do on Twitch, but it's a streaming platform like YouTube. But instead of having the ability to post long form content, it's just streaming. All these guys are, are trash. These guys are trash. Oh, there's ASMR. You're right. There's ASMR. <sighs> there's lots of stuff. Lots of fun things. Yeah, I mostly do, I play a lot of Genshin Impact. And I play a lot of other games like Final Fantasy. Stuff like that. I'm very excited. For more Final Fantasy to come out. Price is poor. I'm going to be playing over the winter. Let's see. I also have a gaming YouTube that I post my Twitch highlights to if you want to check it out. Just my normal handle, um, youtube.com slash Holly T Wolf or at Holly T Wolf. So, yeah. Let me see what they're eating quickly. A Kleenex box? A Kleenex box? Oh, you got that from Raven's room. goodness they're little monsters they got hey there we go thank you Hollywood gaming's in chat perfect <laughs> go subscribe guys I want to do some micro greens no lol I don't want to stream on multiple platforms at once no that's not fun Oh, I'm not feeding the dogs all these greens. Are you kidding me? These greens are for me. Why would I feed the dogs my yummy greens? These are for me. They eat a lot of broccoli and carrots, though. They definitely do. Mmm. Those brats. They are such brats. But yeah, so the goal is, guys, so now that I don't have a lot to do in the garden, we're going to do some cooking videos. 
Why are you putting it this? How is this a dog bowl? Is this a kitchen bowl? You feed your dogs in a kitchen bowl? What? This is a dog bowl. This is for the kitchen. How much are you feeding your doggies? Oh my goodness. What in the world is happening over there? That's a lot. That's, that, uh, yeah, this would be the biggest dog bowl I've ever seen, if that's the case. Maybe it's a great game, yeah, maybe it's a great game. And that's fine. But dang. No, these are kitchen bowls, silly. These are specifically for mixing ingredients, like baking, all that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so now that the garden is almost closed, I'm doing stuff every day. Like, a, you know, obviously I'm right here doing this. But I'm streaming like four times a week starting next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 10 to 2. And then Thursday will be my night stream. And um, yeah, so the garden will be closed soon and I'll just be streaming. Catching up on all my games over the winter. It's really fun. Because that's the thing, right? I'm from Pennsylvania. The garden takes up like all of my time in the winter, right? Which I love. Like I love the garden so much. But I just get behind on video games because it's just so much. It's just so much to do. So what I've done was I kind of stopped gaming all through October. And I bulked a bunch of content plus working on all of my photo shoots for like November, December. I have one more shoot date this Thursday, so I'm not doing a Thursday stream, but the next week I'll be doing four streams a week on Twitch. And also one of those days, like I'll do a stream here as well, which will be super fun. Um, my OnlyFans, Wolf of the Wild. And then we can catch up on games, which will be the best ever. Super excited about that. I'm not playing the new Pokemon, no. I'm not a, I'm not a big Pokemon person. I'll be playing Metroid Dread, because I haven't played that yet and I own it. I'll be playing, um, catching up on Genshin. I have a lot of Genshin to do. I will be playing Crisis Core when it comes out for the Switch. Um, maybe some Stardew Valley for super chill vibes here and there. I was gonna get Harvestella, but I've heard like okay things about Harvestella. So I'm not really sure if I want to buy it now because it's like a full, full game. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Hi Nala, you brat, I see you making a mess. But yeah, I'm also going to be doing more cooking videos in the winter. So I'll still be uploading main channel videos here. Um, I would love to start cooking for you guys and have some fun cooking videos throughout the winter. But I will definitely be not working in the garden as much, obviously, because I can't. But um, yeah, it's going to be fun, I think. I'm excited. You're welcome. I'm gonna keep a few mustard greens going, but the rest of them I'm going to harvest. Because I actually have, look at this one. Look how big and beautiful he is. I love mustard greens, guys. I made a video on mustard greens. I'll probably do another one in the spring. If you've never had mustard greens, please. Amazing. Mustard greens are just so freaking good. Like they're just so spicy and delicious. They're just so good. They're so yummy. Mm. So I love strawberries, but unfortunately I suffer from a yard full of degenerate squirrels and I can't have a lot of fruits. Hi, Nala. What's popping now? How are you? Mm. Thank you for the kiss. You're the best girl. How are you? And so I can't have a lot of 
sweets. They ate all of my cherries off my trees this year. I literally wanted to wait like two more days. They ate them all. <laughs> How's my baby? How's my baby, Nala? How are you, Nala? Say hello. <laughs> Thank you. Say hello. Duty. She's my baby. My baby Nala. You're so heavy, Nala. Ooh. <laughs> You're so cute and so heavy. Uh, I don't like cats. I'm allergic to cats. And I'm not trying to kill squirrels. There's just certain things I can't really grow here, you know? She loves chasing off squirrels, but that doesn't mean she gets them all the time, you know? So it is what it is. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna take this guy out because he's so small. Don't need, don't need you so that I can put the kale in here, like this. There we go, I have one full thing. I'm gonna let these continue to grow and see how they do growing, especially kale. Kale can live up to like two years, so I definitely wanna like keep it growing. And then I have three little icebergs, like romaine lettuces, I mean, in there. So I'm also gonna let those continue to grow which will be nice. Um, I think what I'm gonna do today is um, definitely thinking the best option to bring my click and grow inside. I'm gonna like decide how to do that. I need to kind of figure out I might have to move a few things around in my kitchen to do that, which is okay because I need to clean, like deep clean my kitchen anyway. Um, so I'm gonna decide how I want to do this. I'm not really sure at the moment. The nice thing is the click and grow doesn't need light. Oh wow, my stomach made a noise. The Click and Grow doesn't need light because it has its own light system. Hi guys. But um, it's just kind of big and bulky, you know. Yeah, of course, it's a perfect salad in the fall. Mm. <laughs> Josh, LOL. You wanna see how big my sink is? What kind of soil for the mustard greens? Just regular soil. My sink's pretty big. This is, when we bought the house, this was like the best thing, you know? Like, the kitchen, I love my kitchen, it's super cute. Um, it's small, but it's cute. <laughs> Nala was just like closing her eyes. But yeah, and so like this is all my cabinets here, right? And then like the click and grow could go here, but like I like this for other things, um, normal plants. The click and grow could go here if I really wanted it to. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to move that somewhere. And I don't really know where I'd move it. As of right now, at least. I don't like it there, but... There's a lot of, of work I could do in my kitchen to make it a little bit more... Very nice. Because 
because like the click and grow is a big unit like it's a really big unit but the problem with that corner over there is there's no damn outlet on that side of the wall the outlets are on the other side of the wall um so that's like super annoying I honestly don't know where else to put it besides here or there and it's huge like the click and grow is massive so I don't really know but I would like to keep growing greens. All right, let me put, I'm gonna put both of these in the sink. So I have two bowls. I have mustard greens. I think I have some mizuna in here. Um, and then this one has like romaine in the sorrel, I believe. So now we're gonna run cold water with also a little bit of, oh, vinegar and we're going to clean them. We're going to let them soak some icy cold water. Thank you. Whoops. I'm going to let them do their thing for a little bit. Let them soak, get clean. clean already because they've been indoors this whole time but just in case just in case here we go those are gonna get clean and then I'll just dry them on a big like silicone mat um but yeah I have some serious thinking to do on where to put that click and grow because this is nice here because I'm, I can open my cabinet. Here's the other thing is see this cabbage right here, right? So there's this cute thing. It's got plants in it right now. It's a little, it needs a cleaning and it's a little crazy. Um, but see this guy, this is my spice cabinet and it, it, it gets stopped here because of this, obviously it can't open all the way. But I don't need it to open all the way. Like, I can get everything in there. You know what I mean? I can reach everything in there as of that opening. But the click and grow might be a little wider. So, oh, it definitely is. The click and grow would, like, go to here. So it would honestly, like, just be really awkward in that place for me to put it. But like I said, I don't know where else to put it inside so I can have greens growing. English, please. Yes, English. Thank you, Tony. You love the hair. No, I'm not growing garlic indoors. I'm growing it outdoors. No, no bear. No, no bear. Excuse me. Do you see this? She's a mess. Nala, what do you need? Excuse, excuse me. Nada. No, no, no. Excuse me. She scrapes the door. Nala, you were just outside, ma'am. She will, like, yell at you. Mmm. Nala. Nala. What do you need? Hmm? What do you need from me? Hmm? Yeah? What do you need from me? Nala? You're such a cutie patootie. Mm, back scratch. Yeah? Good back scratch? She says, oh, that's what I need. <laughs> You're a cutie. You're a cutie. Hello? Oh, excuse me. It's an all cam. But yeah, I could put the click and grow system right here. It would actually look quite beautiful there. But the problem is it's just, there's no outlet there. The outlets are on this side of the wall, see? So like, I don't really know. Right now, I don't know. I don't know now. She says, I don't know either. Right? 
All right, well, ooh, I'm gonna soak these greens. I'm gonna take off my makeup. This is from streaming, so it's start, starting to like break down and be sad and everything like that. Um, I know, oh, Rosalinda is gonna be here soon as well, and JR just got home too. So, that's it for today's stream. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoy. I know, and I'm gonna go play with these puppies and I'll see you later, okay? I'll, uh, I'll find a good place for it and I'll do a live stream for it, okay? Or a main channel video as well.